Hi guys, my name is Kendrick Celestine. Um, today in my video, I'm going to be talking about analyzing. And actually, what do I mean by analyzing? Well, I've been doing a lot of analyzing lately, recently. So, you know, I usually just do like my routine, like my daily basis, like I usually do as myself, as an individual like myself. So, today I went to school today and um, I went to study, you know, I did like, um, I was studying my grandma English 8. And I did a lot, a lot of um, practice, you know, like compounds of predicates. I had to do compounds of subjects. I do eaters, sometimes such as predicates and completes. And after that, I was doing that for about two hours. And I ended up like studying about my problems. I ended up studying for those for my English tests. And I had to read, um, I had to do like an autobiography about myself. And I had to do much, pretty much about my life and how pretty much I deal with my purposes. And I wanted to like, you know, keep a little update what's going on with me. So, and out of that, I did it. I read a book called The Powder Loves. So, um, when I read the book, so I did like, I read the book. So, I took the time. I had a tutor who pretty much assisted me, helped me out with some stuff. And it was really fun and I enjoyed it. But anyway, this is not the point of this video, what I'm talking about. The point of the video I'm talking about this. I observe a lot of individuals around my community. Why, where I live, where I work, go to school at. And I've noticed a lot of the behavior, a lot of the sickness. And I've noticed, like, people, you know, you know, I remember I told you on my other videos, you know, like, analyze, you know, like, don't forget, I can't have force it. And I end up, like, analyze, okay, this is going to be related to those things. Or, okay, um, get what you get. So, when I sit here and really take the time, I really observe what's around my circle. And I see a lot of people, it's like... People these days don't even try to even acknowledge me. Like, I don't even exist. Like, I don't even say, like, I'm not here. It's like I had to do a lot of proving, kissing their butt, or do a lot of acceptance. Like, to me, honestly, for you, like, for real, like, to me, I just want to get away from this sickness behavior. It is so disgusting to me. And I can see why we dislike one another. Because it's, it's it has nothing to do with, like, what race you are, what religion, or what like, political view you are. It's really to do with the mindset and the type of thinking they got around them. It's like... Even the level of understanding, even no matter, even we come from a different background or, or a different situation with how we were raised, even when we did have like our fathers or mothers or came from a single household for like, you know, with one parent or two parents. And I'd sit here. I'm seeing now people today are so miserable and so dead inside. I don't even have to know the individual and I can see what type of person they are. And just by even looking and examining them and then look at how the way they act. And I can see why you want, why this generation, like why we stop pouring our fingers at each other. Why we even stop knowledge one another. It's like, you're not going to even deal with that type of thing or deal with that toxin and sickness around you. It's like the moment you just act up or you just have any type of way, just cut your dead out of many out of your life. Let like no warning, no predicament, not a call, not a visit, not even want. Like, honestly, I could respect, even if a person who doesn't want me, at least they ain't not ashamed because they let me know how they feel about me because they're not interested. But I'm not going to feel sorry for them because they messed out a good individual like me with a good quality. You know, because, hey, they could have been the provider who could have helped you, who could have supported you, who could have took care of you, did the things if they wanted to. But they never didn't even want that. But oh well. But he said he want to put this up in a bad predicament because they got somebody who didn't have no intentions or even want to have a family, who didn't have intentions or even want to get married or even have that situation happen to them. But I sit here. I look at people with their choices, how they choose with their own free will, and they want decide to do what they want to do. And I sit here and just look at the problem every daily. And then honestly, no, I just sit here. I be in my lane and I go on with my business. But it's like people now are like have this desperateness like they're so desperate like they just can't like they be begging to want somebody but i'm gonna be realistic like work on you okay don't try to try to try to like work your way to try to prove to get to somebody and honestly you could be working a whole entire life for somebody who never really cared nothing about you in your existence and i'm saying this from an individual like me and i'm young and i still and i'm gonna say this i'm gonna be honest because i don't know everything i really don't because i'm gonna admit that i don't know everything and honestly i get a lot of information from some of you guys too you know i learned from your experiences and honestly we need to start being more and more supportive more knowledgeable more respectful you know and more more working than others and have more agreeable understanding from one another. But the reason I talk about it because it was like I'm seeing too many attacks, flash attacks coming back at one another, one at another, one another. But I'm gonna tell you, eventually it ain't gonna be no more like physical like, attack. It's gonna be more like argument on in it. But now 
You don't see people now these days. They usually argue, but now, you know how usually people will kind of fight you physically, but now, they kind of attack you, it's like, degrade you, try to get you fired, try to get you in this situation, or try to put you in this bad situation, put you in these bad predicaments, it's like, back and forth, back and forth, it's just like, never, ever ends. And sometimes, I just cut away from the toxic around me, it's like, I get away from it, I don't even feel it with it, I don't even acknowledge it. And then sometimes, it doesn't mean I'll be aware of danger around me, because there's danger around me every daily, and that doesn't mean I'm a fool or two that. But I just sit here. And just look at that social media. Look how toxic it is. How pathetic it is. But it's like people who go around and talk to you in any kind of ways. And just disrespect you in any kind of ways. And think like they're better than you. And it's like, like, who are you? Like seriously, who are you to compare me? What makes you special? What makes you all that? It's like you really got a problem. It's just like you really got a mental problem. It's like it's like an illness or something. And honestly, when I bother like read and started really analyzing my problems, analyzing my issues, it's like I surf the patterns and I just look at my own situations, what how I'm doing. Besides, I don't go around and criticize or judge somebody less. You know, honest, before I started, I'll start analyzing myself before I even start going to other people. That's what I usually do. I'll analyze me first before I even go on to others. That's what I do. But you know, I usually tell myself like every day, I continue to love myself, no matter what the situations I'm in. I will still continue loving me. That's what I'm going to do. Because I am my own God. Because I create my own heaven, my own hell, no matter what the problems I deal with. Even sometimes living in my own world could be sometimes, you know, like actuality, the delusion, fantasies, whatever. Whatever my desires are like. But I wanted to tell you from my experience of what I've dealt with every daily. So guys, so this is just a reminder. Please do not lose sight of yours and humanity, okay? Keep yourself together. Keep yourself straight. Keep yourself on track, okay? So now that'll be all folks. So anyway, this is the time of my video. Just analyzing. So anyway, like, dislike, share the video, see what you think. I will continue making more later on in the future. I hope you folks have a wonderful um good night, um, a good morning, afternoon. All the ones who are living around other countries across the world, if you guys watching my video, please stay prayed up, okay? Cause you know the creators inside you guys. Love yourself every day, okay? This is Kendrick Selsey, and I'm out. Love yourself.